orb. Then we've got this interesting clip, which is hilarious, which I think, if anything, this clip now is basically proof, if ever you needed it, that most likely Brendan did steal that fajita joke from Nick Swartzen. Do you remember that thing I spoke about before where um, there was this fajita joke that Brendan saw of Nick, which was, you know, pretty well known to be associated with Nick Swartzen because I remember it being one of the ones I watched randomly. It was one of those clips that was uploaded, I think, from the Laugh Factory where Nick looks really, really young. He dresses completely differently. But the, the fajita joke was fucking funny, innit? Um, and then I guess for some reason, Brendan must have heard or saw that joke and just assumed no one knew who Nick was and just, just took it and just kind of changed some things here and there, but just took it. Um, and, you know, then I guess for some reason, oh, no, that's why, because uh, because Nick recently called him FIFA Sutherland, right, in terms of his name and fucking around another podcast. And then uh, he kind of heard it and tried to do this whole new thing that he's got always kneeling into a joke. And, you know, here we are. Here we are. And now there's evidence that he probably did because he copied Andrew Shostrom. Somebody who's... It's so ridiculous. Yeah, Biden's merch sucks, though. He needs help with his merch game. Yeah. Trump's merch is lit. I don't, I don't like it, but I'm just saying, that thing went viral. The hat. Biden well, stickers. Anti I see Biden. Biden. No, I know. I'm just saying yeah, that yeah. as far yeah. as Biden merch yeah. goes. No, no, no. Bumper his stickers, merch sucks. Bumper stickers? Biden's merch sucks. The only place you'll see a bumper sticker for Biden... Biden ain't got no merch. Like... <laughs> That's how I judge presidents now, bro. Can you move merch or can you not? Because Trump had merch, bro. That MAGA hat was iconic. Bro, that was white people's teardrop tattoo. That's what that was. You saw a white dude with the hat, you were like, yeah! <laughs> he don't give a fuck! In public, dog! Mm -hmm. that was, oh, yeah, that you're, you're crazy. Yeah. Dude, like if you that's were a, true, like that's if, very true. Like if you were a red MAGA hat, you're like, holy shit, that guy is punk rock, edgy. He's edgy. Like Oops. you walk in a Starbucks, see a MAGA hat, you're like, holy shit, dude. Oh man, when you it might as well be correct two me if fingers I'm like correct this, me if like, I'm oh wrong. my god, you're gangster. But correct and me if I'm wrong. It. When you're when you're in places like Tacoma, you know what's funny about that MAGA joke? I haven't watched Andrew Schultz's comedy special, but I would assume it's not the main part of that bit. It's kind of like a a, a kind of like an add-on bit whatever that is term for it is. So it's not even that interesting of observation. If you were just partaking in culture and you were, you know, the tiny bit s smart or plugged in on what you're doing and really kind of writing all the time and observing stuff and taking note and just paying attention, you'd be able to kind of surmise that yourself, isn't it? Like the whole, because everyone was kind of talking about the same sort of thing, right? About how, I remember even there was a joke around that I saw sometimes on Twitter about, you know, the, the clarity of message. Even back then when maybe Biden wasn't as compromised as he is now in terms of even though you don't know what Trump is talking about, you know he's talking about a certain thing. You don't know where Biden's even starting from, that kind of thing. So there was always something in that kind of idea about, okay, maybe he, he's an idiot, but his marketing is really good. Duh, duh, duh. So you could pull from it quite easily. So the fact that he, he needed to wait for Schultz to present it in such a perfectly bowed, bowed you know, knotted up, kind of bowed up present is probably says a lot about him in terms of his comedic brain hey that didn't that wasn't something that was already rattling in his head like it's a bit strange really to be honest because you know like i said it's not really the greatest joke in the world to be stealing in the first place and like i said i think most likely from that special it's probably a joke that adds to a bigger joke it's not even the main one but he's like yeah what about the merch what about the merch buy the merch suck buy the merch sucks it's like brother relax we know it sucks we know we know Take it easy. Deep breaths, please, sir. Deep breaths, deep breaths. But hey, what do I know? Innit? I don't do comedy. I'm a nobody. See, that rhymed. Um, let's co continue here. We've got some other things I wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah, this is one. And talk about another bit of stealing. This stealing is absolutely crazy. And like I said before, this is just, for the most part, this is the proof that anybody needed that most likely this guy is out here fucking stealing people's bits, which is pretty pretty egregious all things considered because most likely he would never get called out on it because again he's joe rogan's boy um but it is quite egregious because the bits aren't even that amazing it goes to show how because you'd imagine stealing a bit would be if i think if i was a comedian you'd probably steal a bit that you probably can't do right that's how you do it right you do you, you do something that you probably cannot do 
or that you you could never get your head around to writing, but then message matches what you're doing, so it's not super far out there in terms of people realizing that it's probably stolen. That's probably what you'd end up doing. But what you wouldn't, but the, but and also it's kind of a recognition that you probably couldn't write it. So it's kind of like a you're kind of like it weirdly exposing yourself, like your level of writing skills. So maybe in this way, him taking these really basic bitch kind of jokes and stealing them and trying to make them his own shows that, oh, 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 sorry, 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 shows that maybe he's not like, you know, not the greatest comedic mind in the world. Maybe. That's, you know, that's just me being kind in that regard. But let's see anyway. This is uh, Brendan Schaub allegedly stealing or not allegedly we're gonna see it now stealing the fucking crystalia's bit about mark zuckerberg which is pretty hilarious considering his ranny went on the other day about it this is all so this is chris doing it recently oh whoops no sound whoops whoops, whoops sorry about that boop, boop, boop. down on it what are we yeah, doing? Yeah. Look new, at him. This new that's what a bad. So that's he's the new villain, Spider-Man Four. There you go. It is really weird how much of a uh, he really does look like a villain. Yeah. In a movie. Talks on you too. Uh, it always like just this meta thing. Is so every it's so funny. Ever since Elon Musk came out, all the guys want to be Elon Musk. They're like, oh, we need personality. You know he's worth a trillion shit. dollars. Elon, yeah, but 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 him. <laughs> you notice something? So it's just but in there. You notice something? He's clearly trying to set up a little bit. He's clearly working through it in his head. He's clearly trying to put the pieces together. It's meant, you know, I know it's a UFC live stream thing, but they still want to fuck around and have some jokes. And Brenda just can't stop with the interruptions. Like, bah, 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 bah. Maybe because he's drunk a little bit. So it might give him an excuse, but Jesus Christ, let the guy breathe and let him work through his material that he's clearly trying to put together or showcase here to see if it kind of lands. Chill. Jeff Bezos, like they were no, they were not in front of the camera until no, they Elon want to be Musk famous. Well, it's, they want they right, want celebrity now. <laughs> right. Well, because Elon Musk is like the Bruce Wayne of them, and yeah. now there's yeah, these guys is. that and 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 what's his name, Mark Zuckerberg, is just like I I surf or whatever the yeah. fuck you know, and you're just yeah. like okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. I I surf I surf. That's a good. That's a good yeah. that's spot on. I dude. eat meats. I eat I eat meats and I surf. Is I have a, a cooker. I have a cooker. I eat meats and I surf. Hey, I like how you change. Hey, B, I like how you change the name to Meta. Yeah, because they're getting all this backlash. Yeah. So they think by changing the name, people are just like, okay. Well, the new, well, yeah. the new tech. Yeah, great point, buddy. Look how inflamed his face is. That's the booze, right? God Almighty, brother! It's like he's wearing a mask underneath his face, and another one on top of it. Like you know, when people with the high COVID are wearing like two face masks. If you're in my chat and you're wearing two face masks, you gotta give yourself a slap. If you at the peak of the pandemic, if you're going around with with fucking two surge, with like I think people are doing those, putting like a a K, what's that? A KN fifty ninety five, whatever it was one that made the actual one that worked properly with the vents in it, and then putting a fucking um, surgical flipping blue one on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> man oh COVID had us on our knees didn't it fucking hell and the fucking whiskey and stuff had hit him had him on his knees as well jesus the technology no. they have is very strange to with me. vr and shit no, but how about the fact that you can't be a fucking you can't be a company that's like taking over the world and it still be named facebook that's some bitch ass company name meta meta is at meta. least a, it's a good name you're you know one of meta, them. do you know what meta you're one of them chris Ooh. Chris, <laughs> no, I think Meta is a good name. Chris, this isn't even Chris. Oh, fuck, he's got a short. <laughs> Meta. Have you seen the logo? <laughs> it's an infinity sign. Meta. Facebook is... No more. <laughs> what do you have to say about Facebook being uh, bad for young people's mental? Yeah, um, what's it called? A Ray and Giant, a Ray Chan, Ray. T- sorry, fuck, I can't speak. Ray Chan Joint. You're right. I definitely think he has a logic reaction too, because I know I used to have a little bit as well before with beer. Some certain beers, the common whatever wheat they use, it would fucking fuck up my stomach, and I'd get really bad indigestion. 
like super super bad um so yeah i definitely think he has some a reaction to it but he just steamrolls through it and as he says he just goes so he doesn't you know he's not gonna address it or pay attention to it in any kind of way it's not happening no way let's just keep drinking of course like, he's, he's got like fucking a whole fucking crate full of fucking tiger whiskey to run through so he can't get sober anytime soon health Yacht, 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 <laughs> just makes me laugh. <laughs> Why, the, the data. <laughs> I know the data. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. Man, you keep saying so. <laughs> Auto adjust <laughs> microphone. <laughs> oh, what? <shit. laughs> He's getting crazy. <crowded. laughs> <laughs> this is so dangerous. Uh, where, thumb. <laughs> Meta Chris, where is Chris, the real Chris Delia? In the metaverse. Well, <laughs> what did you do to him? Is he no longer? Ya, 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 ya. It's not funny. <laughs> it's so stupid. Is he dead? That's legitimately funny. And it only got funnier because guess what? Brian Cannon used to do a podcast with him and knows how to be comedic was basically setting him up, asking him questions, probing, prodding, trying to stay in a direction where it's trying to be funny. Where Brendan was talking about, oh, did you see, did you see? It's like, come on, brother, man. Relax, bro. Just lean into the joke as well. But anyway, this is Brendan's attempt at the same joke, which is pretty, at the same premise of a joke, which is pretty hilarious, I think, personally. <laughs> Let's put this on screen. This is pretty hilarious how he did it because it's not as good at all. But he's definitely something he's kind of picking off the back of Chris from. He's going to pull his face off. There's a robot there. <laughs> Look at him. He's all, oh my God, this <laughs> is fantastic. Dana White. Should, okay, is it okay if I call you DW? You're like, what? It's just all so. Look at his eyes. I know they look like they're just. It's funny you mentioned Look at his eyes. Look at your eyes, brother. We can hardly see them sometimes in the morning, bro, from all the inflammation. Like, come on. Dead? Yeah, dude. He's a robot. Okay, cool. He's a robot. Then you know that where that kind of came from, especially the imitation of a robot, even though his one sounded a little bit foreign, right? Everyone else's robot just sounds like a, a pol very polished American dude. His one sounded very, very, very foreign. But, you know, who am I to say this sort of stuff? But it's funny if he's using the short show as an, opportunity, as an opportunity to kind of do bits now. Maybe. Maybe that's what... And, and you know, maybe this is another influence of fucking BGL. He's, like, using it to kind of shoot back at the haters and do bits, maybe. Might end up being good for him because he's actually getting to perform in a way for sh on a show in front of an audience, kind of. BGL's going to laugh at anything he does, so it's not really, you know, a good representation. But just, you know... It might be a good thing in general overall. It might be. Let's see this. I'll tell you who didn't. His wife. She was terrified. She like, they're actually hitting each other? And then and then Mark Doug like, yes, babe, they're hitting each other. Some of them will die. She's like, they're going to die. He's like, hopefully, if it's up to me, they will die. And Dan's like, yeah, I don't know. This youth, man, is just not funny. That was just fucking, I don't know what to say about that, to be fair. It's just fucking brutal to watch this stuff sometimes. I watch it back, I'm like, God, am I, I can't believe I uploaded these clips up. But hey, you know what it is. You know what it is. Uh, 